Now, an astounding development involving the brain that we first brought you on 60 Minutes. Today, researchers are reporting that a woman who is completely paralyzed has used a robotic arm controlled with nothing but her thoughts. It is a triumph of neurobiology and computer science that you have to see to believe, as we found out when we met that woman, Kathy Hutchison, in 2008. It had been 11 years since a stroke left Kathy Hutchison paralyzed from the neck down, unable to speak, but completely aware. A sensor with 100 electrodes was surgically placed on her brain to pick up the electrical signals that brains create when we think about movement. The sensor was wired to a computer through a connection that was bolted to her skull. John Donahue at Brown University developed the system after decoding some of the brain's electrical language. How well do we understand this language? We know that there's a general pattern of, for example, left, right, up, down, even fast or slow. Kathy now has neural control over that cursor. Four years ago, Dr. Lee Hochberg of Massachusetts General Hospital explained as Hutchison moved the computer cursor with her thoughts. She's thinking about the movement of her hand, and uh, she's moving the cursor much, much as if she had her hand on a mouse. Do you want to uh, play some music? All right. And she just clicked play. Yep, she did. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Now, four years later, in the study published today in the journal Nature, Researchers report Hutchison has gone even further, using her mind to control a robotic arm. She was able to reach and grasp any ball in any location about half the time, which to us was remarkable that she could do any of that. Once they proved it worked, they wanted to see whether the technology could one day change her life. So we said, okay, you can now have your morning coffee, uh, but you're gonna serve yourself for the first time in almost 15 years. When she reached out and grabbed the cup, we were all breathless. You know, no one was moving, no one was doing anything. To be able to watch her reach out and, and, and pick that up and, and, and to see the smile on her face uh, as soon as she did that uh, was a magical moment for all of us. Right now, they're working on a wireless connection that would eliminate that part that's bolted to her skull. After more than five years, Kathy Hutchison has been disconnected from the computer as planned, but she's let the researchers know that she'd like to continue helping with their work.